And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you live action from MLS. It's Los Angeles FC, and they take on the Los Angeles Galaxy. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And here's the starting 11 for Los Angeles FC. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And here's the starting 11 for the LA Galaxy. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And the match begins. Kellen Acosta. And it's with Sanchez. Cifuentes. Buanga. Uh, can they create something? Oh, but he's done brilliantly to cut it out. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, at the moment, he's playing with great confidence. Every time he gets to the ball, he looks like scoring. Three goals in the last three games, and I'm expecting a similar performance again today. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Can he finish? And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Well, spot on with that challenge. And beating the defender. The clearance wasn't decisive. And they could face difficulties here. Oh, did so well to deny him. Short corner taken. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Vela. Vela. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And the referee says penalty. This to make it 1-0. A goal! Accurate from the spot! Well, here it is again, and just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. One nil then. Chance to run at them. Turning inside. Where's he going to go? Keeping still possibilities. And problem solved for now. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. It's got to be. 
And the keeper getting across to stop it. Over it comes. Well, not the best clearance. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Takes the shot. And not cleared away properly. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Could be dangerous. Will he finish? A oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. And there's the delivery. And a struggle to get it away properly. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Just lacked a bit of conviction and struck. Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill and it probably deserved a goal. Well, couldn't keep it. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. The first half here comes to an end. Well, he was influential in the first half, Carlos Vela. What did you make of him? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was... So back underway here into the second half. Space on the flank. And a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Vela. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Pressing high to win the ball. Able to get a body in the way. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball, but they aren't doing enough with it. They need to pass it quicker. Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Opportunity. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. Plenty of options. He's in behind. And there it is. But hang on, the flag has gone up and it's not going to count. Well, it was a close call, but he is just offside. Good finish, mind you. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Boyd, chance to run at them. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Good technique displayed. And options in the centre. Great pressure to win the ball back. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And the danger cleared. Hernandez. This could be the equaliser. Oh, but he's missed it. He's completely failed the test. Well, that was a big opportunity, and they really should be level now. They have to be more clinical in front of goal. <laughs> Q. 
Kellen Acosta. Might really be able to trouble them here. Must score! Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So, 2-0 now. Promising sequence. Targets available. Cross comes in. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Well, some referees might have elected to hand out the yellow card, but no booking on this occasion. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Could reduce the deficit. And in it goes. And you never know in this game. They might yet be able to level it. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And while the finish might not be the cleanest of strikes, it's still good enough to beat the keeper. What a lovely goal that is. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. Buanga. The supporters want to see him have a go. Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. And a chance maybe to settle this. And he slots it home with confidence. Well, as you can see, the keeper makes no effort in the end. He was hoping it would be struck down the middle, but it's an easy finish, really. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. But as you can see, our camera operators have no desire to leave Carlos Vela alone. They might be with him for a while longer, Stuart, on the back of a terrific performance. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shot.